Hello, and this is Dr. Paul Feuerstein, Editor-in-Chief of Dentistry Today. And I have the biggest smile on right now. My patients can't see it, unfortunately, because I'm covered with all sorts of masks and things. I am thrilled, thrilled to be here with a couple of dentistry's icons. And I'm, I'm not kidding. I mean, these are two people that have done more for dentistry on different levels than you can even possibly imagine. So first, let me introduce you to Dr. Denson Chow. Incidentally, it's spelled C-A-O, just so, but we pronounce it Chow. And Denson is responsible for something that you use every single day. If anybody here uses a laser, uses a curing light, and lots of other equipment, the reason they actually operate is based on some of Denson's early research. And what Denson did for me here, see, he handed me his bibliography and his biography before we started. It's 63 pages. So I'm not going to read the whole thing, Denson. It includes everything he's ever done. And so if we have an extra, if we have an extra half an hour at the end, we'll go through the whole thing with you, Denson. And then the, the, the great icon of dentistry, one of the great guys in dentistry, one of the great technology minds in dentistry, and most important, one of my actual real best friends, Dr. John Fluke. John, I haven't seen either of you guys in over a year, and that is just nasty. <laughs> <laughs> agreed agreed it absolutely yep. is in fact it's mm -hmm. it's nice to actually be able to see some people that you know you can see their whole face for a change instead of just from the eyes up so <laughs> and, you know i mean you know and, and we all know that 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 the dental meetings were a, a meeting point for us not only to give information out and to show new products but to see our, our comrades you know to see all your friends and, and it just it's so hard and, and both and all of us have been on zoom doing lectures and listening to lectures and watching things. And it's just not the same. I mean, I have to stare in front of the screen sometimes and speaking to who knows how many people. And there's not a nod like this or somebody falling asleep in the back of the room. You know, you kind of miss those things. So anyway, Denson, tell us, tell us a little bit about your company. And then I want to talk about an amazing product that, we're, that you're launching and uh, that John has been using. And uh, let's talk about this. This is quite amazing. When I say amazing, I mean amazing. So tell us a little bit about your company, Denson. Thank you, Paul, and thank you for the kind of words about me. All true, all you true. Know, yeah, 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 really not a kind of a John, but you know, John is much better than what you said and <laughs> on that. But uh, the company, you know, uh, we call the CEO group, you know, group, and the CEO is much easier to pronounce. And we have been uh, in the dentistry for 20 years, you know, first 10 or 15 years, we're really behind the scenes of a dentistry. We create a lot of technologies to serve the dentistry, and uh, I was, uh, you know, mentored by two, you know, big icons in dentistry. You know, Gordon and Rayla Christensen's. You know, I worked for them for five years, and uh, you know, really learning the dentistry. And uh, the reason I left them is to create the first LED turn light. That's about it. I've been used in every single practice almost across the U.S. and worldwide. And uh, absolutely, great company. You know who. Supply the current light is licensed to our technology. And uh, so we estimate to save a lot of money, mm -hmm. you know, the halogen uh, to LEDs. So based on that, we understand that, you know, the deficiencies of LED current light, even we create it. So we also very good at laser feel most important, you know, features on the current light is, is People are always asking, could I have a collimate beam? <laughs> so I don't have to worry about the distance, everything. That's number one. Number two is, could I have one second, three second cure, of, <laughs> you know, if not a 10 or 15 or 20 seconds? So far, I don't believe anybody doing beyond, you know, 20 seconds anymore because the LED technologies. So based on those and the other things, you know, we really, but our effort in the last five, six years. So we developed the world first, even the first FDA approved uh, handhold laser curing light because nobody else have done that. So FDA just created a very special category, you know, honestly, for this product. So the product deemed, you know, be safe and effective, you know, FDA really put a lot of work for us and then, you know, we're, work diligently more than a year, you know, working with the FDA. And then, so we got approved, you know, with a new category. So, and, so let's, so let's talk about this, this laser. So what you've done is you've taken the curing light and the laser combined them into one unit. And we call this yeah. the Monet. 
Interesting name. Yeah. <laughs> Monet. Uh, the reason the reason we call it Monet, you know, we own company AMD Laser is also our you know subsidiary. <laughs> and, uh, the first brand AMD Laser, live known by the dentistry, called Picasso's. So all our future lasers are gonna be named, you know, by an artist. So this one we call the Monet. Next one we're gonna have a really a new revolution neural laser out. We're gonna be called Da Vinci. And after that we're gonna have a Michelangelo. That's gonna be the master. That's like the, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. so 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 let me ask you some things about the laser itself. So first of all, so you've made you've put these two pieces together. Mm -hmm. So. One of the things you mentioned quickly initially is about collimation. So yeah. when I, the, the definition of a laser is it's, it's a direct straight beam of some sort. Mm -hmm. So you now have a certain spot size that's a collimated beam. Is that how this works? Uh -huh. Exactly. That's exactly what a laser you can do. You know, you cannot do with any other light, create a collimated beam. It's going to be very challenging, you know, and, uh, but laser, you know, you can do the column beam with a complete optics. When you see the field light, evening light of the sky, all those things, but the complete, you know, large, you know, optics. But it, in the form factor, we're talking about it, you know, in a current light and the particular size, the optics challenging is very, very challenging. This is the, you know. It looks, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Tiny, yeah. Tiny and then you can really hold by hand that we have the, you know, Really, we talk to a lot of clinicians. So the head is 360 degree oh, look. Wow. You can do any angle you want. The battery is easy to take off. Ooh. Uh, you don't have to, you know, really worry about it. if you run a battery, you know, to other charging, whatever. Because it's a cure, truly a three second cure. We only design one button, nothing else. Three seconds. Yeah. From now on, you don't need anything, you know, more than three seconds. We have a, you know, the great dentist, young Luki, and <laughs> Dr. Luki, I would say, and uh, has, the, you know, heavily clinically, you know, uh, for last 12 months, even, right, John? Yeah. And so this really, you know, we consider a lot, you know, uh, factors, same time. We always assign data driven. You know, we're not going to sell anything without a data backup. You know, for oh, our sure. Yeah. Well, 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 let me let me ask John a quick question. So, John, yeah. you, using this, we're in a world now where companies are coming out left and right with bulk fill composites, and you can, mm -hmm. you know, my curing light cures down about two or three millimeters. Mm -hmm. um, even with a bulk fill, it makes me nervous. So, so what's the what's the depth of cure on this on this this uh, laser light? This thing is between uh, four to eight depending on the shade. And I mean, this truly does um, take any composite now and, and pretty much make it a bulk fill material. Wow. Um, and, and that, really? three that seconds, is phenomenal. Really? <laughs> yeah, in three seconds. I mean, there's one button, even I can't mess it up. You know, it's, uh, it, it's just press and go. You know? so, so, so I'm dealing with a laser. When I use a laser in my office, I have to wear special glasses and things. Mm -hmm. Are there any protective things we have to do with this light? Same thing. Yeah, yeah, there's protective eyewear. And I know a lot of people, um, you know, even halogen lights or, or LEDs, the, you know, they're so intense yeah, now, good, yeah. they can cause problems. Oh, sure. and a lot of people just say, oh, it's not that big a deal. It, honestly, it is a big deal. There's been a lot of research done that show even with LEDs, it's a big deal. But with a laser, it's obviously really important to protect your eyes because this is a very bright, strong beam. Uh, that's how it manages to do what it does is it's collimated. And, and it's crazy bright, crazy, uh, you know, depth of cure, but you also have to be judicious in how you use it, like now, any other tool. Now, to me, if, if I have a laser in my hand, doesn't this thing get hot? Doesn't the light, the, the tip get hot or anything? How's, what, what, what could they, how about you, Dan? So what do you think? Yeah, we, actually, we, you know, when we design the device, we all consider all the factor, make sure, you know, at the time, uh, you know, during the use, you know, either, you know, the, the pop or the, the tip itself never exceeds, you know, five degrees C. This is the FDA, you know, uh, limitations. Because it's going in somebody's mouth. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, no, yes, that's the, that's the FDA regulation. You cannot exceed, you know, five C above your body temperature. You know, otherwise you're gonna damage the tissues, you know, everything. And we do, 
you know, because the condomate, you know, uh, uh, beam, so we can create different size beam for different applications. And that's why we have those apertures. We have different apertures. Oh. If you want to cure a class five near the gum, right? You can use our, you know, six millimeter or even four millimeter tips. I give you, still I'll give you same power density and a parallel beam. So oh, if you oh. want to cure endo root canal, just if you do use the resin filler, mm -hmm. use this two millimeter aperture, give you a straightforward two millimeter beam. And it's the same. It's the same. The same uh, power as if it was eleven or two or four. Yeah, exactly. It's the same yeah. power density is always the same. You know, for veneer, if you want attacking, you want a small beam size. You only have two millimeters. You just you know use two millimeter beam, hacking it at one second. So you can. Now, yeah. So now I have a question for either one of you. Is when I've been studying LED lights. Some of the lights have multiple different wavelengths going around, and there's a, there's, there's a broad band, I would say, of, of everything. How does the laser work in that realm? I mean, because some of the older composites set at different frequencies and new frequencies, and so how does that work? I don't really understand how it would work with the laser. I'm I'm going to let Denson answer that, Paul, because yeah. that was one of the very first questions that I asked him when we were talking about this. Yeah. I was like, "What about these other photo initiators?" So, Denson, tell him what you told me because you definitely sold me with it. <laughs> you know. Most important is right now, you know, we're creating a new category. You know, laser is different from, uh, you know, LED. So LED definitely is a broad spe spectrum. The laser is coherent light, almost like a single wavelength, right? But you do have a spectrum for all the photo initiators, you know, and uh, that's also our concern as well. You know, we continue to understand the physics, why we can cure all the composite. Before, uh, you know, when we developed the power line, that's the number one thing we did. Not only, you know, we did five years, so we continuously doing the, anything new on the market. So we test more than 50 all possible composite in the market and uh, everyone cured. <laughs> the Life to CR, you know, uh, foundation, you know, Dr. Christensen, their team, also did all the possible composites available to them. We did not fill any single composite. Wow. And, yeah. and uh, they published this report in, uh, you know, in their February issues. And uh, so it's right now we can confidently say we, did cure, we are curing all the composite on the market. But we have no doubt that there may be some composite we possibly miss, but we know that's not going to be a popular one, you know, <laughs> and yeah. in, the, in the U.S. market. So. so, so now I'm going to put you on the spot here. No, no pun intended about the spot. Um, <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, what about what about we we always talk here about shrink composite shrinkage away from the margins and things like that. Yeah. With this rapid cure, is that a plus or minus, or does it matter? How does that all happen? Uh, probably I'll answer first, then John, see if you can help. Oh. You know, to us, most important, because of the nature of material, most important for composite is the polymerization conversion. They call it this effect. You know, number one, you have to make sure the polymer is, you know, polymerized. You know, all your resin is polymerized. That's the most important. Let's create the harness, everything all together. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the mother nature also is something we cannot overcome the physics. All composite, doesn't matter how you cure it, they all gonna shrink. Okay. To bacteria, the shrinkage, you know, 1%, 2%, 3%, all Grand Canyon to them. <laughs> so, yeah. you know. But you know, don't don't get me wrong right there. No, 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 no. No, we did a shrinkage test. We have data to support everything. We are equal or better than the best LEDs on the shrinkage wise. But I think you know, pe people misunderstood because I'm a material scientist, right? Yeah. People misunderstood. Oh, I'm a 05 percent better in shrinkage. My composite must be better than yours. Oh. That's really the misconception the, mm -hmm. the entire industry got. You know, if you have one per, 
0.1% or 0.3% make no difference for yeah. to pen, benefit. It's really the adhesives if they can put in the gap, seal the gap. So far, nobody have figured that one out yet. Yeah. I hope one day we'll provide a solution and <laughs> yeah. also everybody else who can, you know, right now, if somebody can really figure out is, you know, no shrinkage composite as number one, oh, ex expanding composite, you know, and that will be the true solution. But mm -hmm. as long as you cure a polymer, yeah. doesn't matter. What doesn't it, matter which, yeah. They that's, all they, that's, 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 the, that's, the, that's the chemistry. Yeah. yeah. Now, John, yeah. I have a question for you, uh, just yeah, laterally. Ahead. Sure. Knowing you as well as I do, I'm sure you, you took this laser, this laser light, and have played with it in different ways. How far away have you stood from a patient to get that laser to set the composite? <laughs> well, I, I I haven't actually done it. Now, this is off in label. Vivo yet. This is off label. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I, I haven't stood a great distance. I mean, I've used it on a lot of restorations in the mouth, but I, I have not experimented with distance there. But I can tell you um, that setting up in a, a lab setting that I am up to thirty nine inches away. Um, <laughs> And the, the tests still hold up because what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm using a compression test of I'm crushing the composites uh, when I'm done and measuring, um, you know, how strong the composite is. And yeah, I'm up to 39 inches away um, and it's yeah, still do. setting it like nobody's we, 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 we do have one doctor, he tests it six feet away. <laughs> I can yeah. send a video, but we don't have any live videos. So this is just sort of for fun, but nobody. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that, 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 that's just curious. Right? Yeah, but, 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 but you do bring one point, you know, uh, I think uh, clinically maybe most relevant, you know, uh, John can comment on that is, you know, right now when you use a LED current light, you always try to have the light on top. Mm -hmm. So really contaminated the lens frequently. Sometimes it can destroy it. You know, oh, you yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So with the laser, you can really move above the you know, top surface. You still get the same effect. Mm -hmm. you know, we, we did this testing. You know, nobody even wanted to challenge into this testing. We, we have this testing by the third party scientists. So we put current light eight millimeter away you know, from the current surface. Of course, this is a jig. Yeah, yeah. And we put eight, eight millimeter composite in in the jig we are the only one can cure it yeah. and well, then, I, mean, I mean every dentist has experienced that they have the right they're ready to set the composite and they go oops and they, they exactly they yeah. hit the top of it <laughs> yeah. or you know the other thing is that you know a lot of times i've seen people and you know this is one of the reasons i'm a big one on eye protection just in general is because you can look at your light but you'll see people come in and you know i'm just going to use this as an example but you know people will come in and put some you know put a light down the tooth and they're like oh i better not look so i look away and their hand moves eight or ten millimeters away from the target and then they hit the button and and they're completely off center with this, I mean, literally, you could stand on the other side of the room until the patient open, you know, and you can still set it because it's got the same intensity. So, you know, that's that's the thing about this is you don't have to be right on top of the target. Um, you can be if you want to, you know, lift it a few millimeters above the target, you certainly can. And you're going to get just the same set, you know, LEDs tend to break down you know they lose about 10 percent per millimeter and this we, thing doesn't and, and we both know about uh, checking the, the intensity of those curing lights and what happens over time and yep. yeah i mean that that's that's a whole story in itself we're in the yes. spot on that yeah one. you know that's another you know uh technology we want to, you know let you know is a uh, we build the inside uh monitor in this light even lighting oh. in below you know our calibrate value this LED light can give you a warning. So, oh. uh, but, you know, this will never happen, but, you know, that's what I, we understand that. But another important, you know, like John said, you know, right now, if you cure 20, 30 seconds, is whoever handled the light, they can move the light. Yeah. They can hold the steel in there for 20. But with the three seconds, one, two, three, done. And then like, you're not... A, you eliminate a lot of errors, that's for sure. 
Boy, I have, I have to say that this has been, this is something that every single dentist uses every single day. And, and there's so much more information we can do, but we only have so much time. Sure. So Denton, people are going to have so many questions now that they, they've heard about the Monet light. So where can, where can we get more information? Because we can't stay out for another 20 minutes. I still have to read your biography. Exactly. No. You, know, um, <laughs> you know, visit our website, you know, amdlasers.com. They okay. are a very good amount of information, you know, like I said, you know, I'm a scientist, I'm a nerd, I'm not a clinician. I'm counting people like you to, you know, give us a clinical feedbacks. But at the same time, most important, we are really scientific data driven. We're not going to claim anything we don't have data to support. And that, and that, that stands up for your whole company. And I have to say that in sincerity, yes. that I've never seen a product coming from your company that, that didn't do what it was supposed to do and didn't deliver what you said it was going to deliver. And I really, and I say, say that sincerely. No, that, that's really important. That's about, a, you know, Gordon Rella told me, you know, from beginning, if you don't have a data, don't say it. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> that's why, you know, they have become the icon those many years, you know, through dentistry, because what they said, we cannot say always 100%, you know, but at least 98, 99%, right. Wow. That's all because, you know, they, they trust data. Same thing for us, you know, for everybody else. Sure. Well, John, any last words? <laughs> you know, just real quickly, um, everything you need, just from a from a doctor's purchasing standpoint, everything you need comes in the in the package. Denson showed those aperture uh, changers; ah. those are part of the kit. Eye protection is part of the kit. Uh, two batteries are part of the kit. So it's not like you you purchase this and then, oh, I've got to have these other, you know, expensive little add-ons that I, I have to, to purchase. It's just, a, you know, it's an all-in-one, which I think is a great thing, <clears throat> excuse me, that the company has done is to make it just simply you buy it and you get everything um, that you need. It's a phenomenal piece of equipment. That yeah. That's probably my final word. Highly recommended, phenomenal curing device. Well, it's revolutionary. I bet, without a doubt, it's revolutionary. And you've, you've taken the two industry, the two pieces of the puzzle and put them together. And who thought of that? Uh, he did. <laughs> you know, we are so confident, Paul, to every, you know, our customers, we have a 30-day money back no question asked, Gary. Wow. If you don't like the light, just like, uh, you know, if those people already now see the discount tire video, just send back to us. We send the label to you, you'll ship back to us. And then like, we are so confident this is going to be, we cannot say change your practice, but it's going to make your practice very, very efficient. Yes. Well, John and Denson, First of all, it's been just great sitting here with talking with you. I can't wait to see you at the next whatever. Uh, we'll have to come okay. out. We'll have to come out to Utah and come out and see you then, anyway, one way or another. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we, so, we really, they, really want you to come here. You know, when everything clear up, hopefully, you know, by oh, end of the year. <laughs> the light, the light, the tunnel is coming out at the end. So, uh, <laughs> right. uh, thank, thank you so much for spending this time with me and learning and teaching me about these things. And, and, and thanks for everything both of you do for the whole industry. And, and uh, John, I love you. You know that. And Denton, I won't give you a big hug yet. Whether you get vaccinated completely. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Really appreciate it. Thank you, John. Right. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Denson and Pauly. Uh, always right. a pleasure, buddy. Thanks, okay. guys. Thanks so All much. Right. All right. Okay. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Bye.